and I think we are live. So good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good morning and good afternoon. So everybody, hello. So oh, evening. sorry. <laughs> I was just sharing right. it on my Facebook, and it just went really that's, loud. Then. That's all right. <laughs> would, you, know, you know what? I'll share that on my Facebook as well. Yeah. Spread the love. It's amazing yep. how um exactly. It's amazing how Godox are doing these videos. Like they're so yeah. good. Amazing. Good evening, everybody. So let me just quickly introduce about Ashley. I think you know, like lots of people already know her. So I'll just keep my introduction nice and short. So she's a wedding photographer based in Melbourne. She's uh the brand, or should I call the brand girl for Panasonic? Mm -hmm. And uh, also, she's um, she's been using. If you guys been watching our YouTube channel, you will find her uh, uh, lots of her wedding tutorials, wedding lighting tutorials, um, which is quite awesome, right? With uh, with some location shots as well as the full wedding shots to cover um, different kind of wedding lighting recipe. Um, today um, we prepare something else, and why is that? Well, we've been. I mean, weddings, I haven't been shooting weddings for so long. So now I'm sort of playing around with the portrait photography, which has been so much fun. Um, and I've been using the 8300 Pro and I love it. It's awesome. I'm addicted to yeah. doing portraits now. Um, but yeah, got some fun things to show you guys. Oh, that's that's great. So um, I guess that's the idea, right? Um, you never stop shooting. You never stop being creative, yeah. right? You know, you've like I've been stopped shooting we weddings, but I was shooting something else, so which is quite cool. Yeah. Should we jump into it? Do you want to go for it? Yeah. All right. Do you want to share your screen, or uh, guys, we prep we prepare lots of interesting stuff for you uh, in order to do this. Uh, actually, spend the days to prep for the you know for the behind the scenes sort of life. Um, almost like 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 a demo, so you guys know where the light is, where the background is, what sort of environment, right? There's no excuse not to shooting, even you are staying home, right? I know it's um, yeah, yeah. If I didn't shoot, I would just feel so bored with life. So it's great to um, have these opportunities to photograph portraits, and I've had some good practice over the last three months. Um, cool. and I, yeah, it's so good. Um, should we share my screen of some of the shots yeah. that I've been taking over the last few months? All righty. Um, let's go. All right, let me, yeah, okay, up to stream. Here we go. Perfect. Great. All right, so just going to double click on that. Awesome. So this is the, um, for, this is the shoot that I'm going to talk about today. I filmed this shoot over the last two days. So I did some yesterday and then quickly got my little girl model back today to do a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, this is this is a whole um, session that I did yesterday in probably 30 minutes, but we got some beautiful shots of mum and her children. Um, and then here's a beautiful shot of my niece. Isn't she so gorgeous? Oh my stunning. god! Yeah, this was shot with that um, AD three hundred Pro, and I had a little. I had my other daughter there as my assistant, holding a little reflector. So the lighting is coming from above, and then got the re uh, reflector down the bottom of there, bouncing back onto her. But she's how good is her? Like how how much of an amazing model she is? Seriously, she's so yeah. good. Um, another mum and bub shot. This is one of my first sort of paid portrait shoots doing this style like I've been shoot, shooting newborn and family portrait work for you know a good eight years now but I've never used strobes I've always just used natural light or um you know continuous soft softbox light so this is my like one of my first paid shoots and I was like lo I loved every moment of her and she's just gorgeous yeah. as well Ash would you mind just uh double click the images so uh, oh, we yeah. have a yeah, larger, larger view. Oh, I, oh, I did, but oh, that's why I've got to share the screen. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Um, one second. Hang on, a sec, guys. I forget that every time you click onto one, you've got. Is that better? Yeah, a way better. Yeah. 
All right, cool. So my little cheeky daughter. <laughs> She's, She's gorgeous. From... I love her the smile. Audience. This was like when I, I first got the AD300 AD Pro, this was like my first quick shot. This is actually a self-portrait of me and my daughter. Um, and then, oh, oh, sorry. There you go. So these are just a couple of the shots I've been taking over the last few months. Love that one. This is a mum with five kids, like five boys. How amazing. And they were all so good as well, like five. When she said she was coming in, I was like, okay, this is going to be fun. But they were so amazing. They were perfect. And then, then we decided to do a couple of portraits of her as well by herself. For those that know me well, this is my sister Nikki and her two kids. And that's my son. So there are a couple of the shots that I've been doing over the past few months and I've just been loving playing around with the AD300 Pro. It's really good. I'm going to click out of it now. Perfect. All right. I'll stop sharing that. No worries. Um, Apparently, yeah, so that, this Olivia, oh. you, are her, you are her favorite photographer. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Thanks, man. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia's cute. She's my biggest fan. She's my bestie. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So should we jump into like a video first and, and show some of the video? Sure. Go ahead. So, yeah. What I've done is I've sort of split the videos up into like sequences of different sort of from start to finish rather than playing like a full, say, 15, 20 minute video. I've broken them up into like three minute clips. So I'll show you the first one, um, which is me doing a photograph of mum on her own, which I think is really important for um, us photographers. If you've got your mum in the studio, she's dressed up, she's got her makeup done. Sometimes we forget about mums and we just focus on mum with barbs or kids, but I think it's really important that we, we get a beautiful shot of mum looking gorgeous on her own. Gives her a little chance to just be herself and be cheeky and get a couple <laughs> of beautiful shots of herself. So I'm going to jump back into sharing my screen. Um, just give me one second. Alrighty. Tell me when we're there we in. Go. Perfect. So this one goes for three minutes and 52 seconds. So enjoy. And if you've got any questions, let me know. And you have lots of fans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over your comments. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. That's your home studio, right, Ash? Yeah, that's in my garage. So I converted my garage yeah. into my studio, which um, works perfect. It's a good space as well. It's quite large. It makes a lot. It makes the world of the difference. Yeah. Yeah. I 
that's us just checking out the checking out the photos. What do, what are we were saying there? I was saying extend the body out taller and then oh. so I can see some separation between her body and her arms. Okay. Because the dress is quite like puffy, like we need her to be a little bit more exaggerated with her pose. Yeah. To just uh, separate, to have a bit of separation from separation. the body, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just so she's not looking frumpy. Yeah. Hands on your face. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So, uh, Prana have a question says, why should we buy 8300 if we have already have 8200 Pro? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, that's all right. Oh, this is cool. Oh, where's your baby? <laughs> <laughs> Show me what you got, Baba. Hold it. Now come closer to more with me. And then that way. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Okay. So I'm just going to pause that now because that's that's video is done. So regarding the music situation, whenever I, I want your like, music, send that music to yeah, me. I, you know what? Oh, I it works like a dumb. I <gasps> said to my model, I said, listen, like let's put some music up to spice things up and get you more comfortable. Pick a song, any song. And she was like, Spice Girls. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. I love the Spice Girls. Oh, man, um, that works great. Yeah. So she looked like she had a lot of fun there doing those photos. Um, but yeah, so I mainly use one light in this situation, which was the 8300 Pro, but then you might have seen in a few of the shots, I did use the 8200 Pro just to sort of light up the backdrop a bit, give a little bit more backlight there. Um, when I was going through the shots with, with my model, um, she's like, oh, I like the shots with just one light better. And I was like, yeah, me too. Um, but it's just, you know, different preference and what you like and, um, I mean, look the final result. She looks really gorgeous, doesn't she? Yeah. So that answer, that actually answer um, our user Virginie's question, yeah, right? Virginie's yeah. question. What was her question? Um, can you see that in the um, Can you see that in in the um, sorry in the in the back end? Yeah. See, just from from um, your side on, on the right. Oh. In your browser. Oh, can you sorry, see that? my right. I'll just. Um, on the right hand side on the browser like yeah in the, i can't see in the, in the in the stream yeah let me quickly yeah um, i can't see any questions oh really so her uh so we have our uh, we have a couple of questions here actually coming up says yeah. would you mind to share some exposure stats for size yeah on exposure, the camera right? yeah yeah you can see it on there on um, leslie yeah so um, just give me a second. So I'm pretty certain I was shooting with my 70, uh, 24 to 70 at 2.8. Um, I had the camera, I had the, uh, the flash on high speed sync. So I was, think I was about 2000, one over 2000. And then I can see on here, I'm just looking at the video one second. No worries. Next time I should add it in, but it is on the video. No, no, can, it, it's can okay. You, just answer it. Um, Take sorry, your time. You. No, all good. My ISO was 640. Yeah, so 2000, 2.8 and 640 ISO. Does that help? 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Oh, so I'm just trying to find. No, I don't see that those comments on my browser. Oh, you don't see those comments. Oh no, on no, no. Okay, now I do. I just switched it over to live comments. Oh, awesome. Okay, all right. Perfect. So yeah, maybe can... just go over those comments. Let's just quickly go over those comments. Answer okay. the questions people might have. We have yeah. lots of people asking and interested. That's good. Oh, um, yeah. There's the yeah. Can you see it? Can you see yeah, it now? Somebody Somebody said um, they admire how simple my setup is. Let me tell you, my setup is so simple because prior to COVID, I'd never had anything like that in my studio. It was basically just empty with like a couple of newborn props that I would do, you know, a newborn shoot every now and then. So when I first, um, when we first started losing our weddings, I obviously wanted to keep innovating and shooting and growing. Um, and when I got the 8300 Pro, I was like, oh, I want to really do some really cool fine art portraits. Um, and then I was, you know, Googling backdrops and I was like, oh, they're really expensive and like, I don't have any work at the moment. So, um, you know, I went to our local um, material shop and just bought a heap of different colours and backdrops. And literally those backdrops probably cost me, you know, $50 or $80 and it's just literally material hanging there, which, I mean... I wouldn't say it's the best option, but it's good if you're, you know, on a budget and you don't want to spend too much money and you want to do, you know, play around. Um, but yeah, my lighting, my my setup is so so simple. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Simple works great, right? Yeah. Especially when you shoot shoot the family with multiple kids, they just don't have time to oh. to wait for you to spend half an hour playing with ten lights. You yeah, know? yeah, and especially with small family. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, it works. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> I saw a Hello, Nikki. Yeah. Hello, Nikki. Yeah, we're well, um, not giving your LC five hundred back, by the way. Yeah, I've got it here. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> I told yeah. yeah. It's the just, force. Yeah, I, I love it. I love the colors. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so user did. Yeah. Go go. Sorry, I interrupted go, go. there. No, no, sorry, I, I shouldn't interrupt you. I was uh, there. Is a user? He's asking a question. I think uh, Pranav, he, he or she is asking a question that yeah. why should we go for AD three hundred if he already has AD two hundred Pro? Is there something with a recycling time, especially with the this kind yeah. of studio shoots? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. The recycling time is much better. Um, I yeah, like. I prefer the 8300 Pro better than the 8200 Pro. I do love the 8200 Pro, um, but the 8300 Pro is just so easy to use, like all the, um, to change all the settings and stuff. It's just a lot easier and it's, it's, it's a really good flash system. And if you're looking at upgrading, even just, because I like having the both of them, um, as you can see in the video, um, there's a, the 8200 Pro still there. Can you put the 82, I'm sure you can, but I haven't, done it yet this yeah. is all new to me can you put the ad 200 pro with the softbox umbrella as well like is that an option yeah yeah so okay. if, yeah. if you if you always s like if you have s2 s2 type brackets right mm -hmm. you can mount uh you can put the uh godox ad 200 pro yeah. in the s2 yeah. brackets and mount with yeah. any power mount modifiers yeah right? not with any yeah. Not with the, your um, AD65. You're using AD65, mm -hmm. right? Not with that, no. because it's Godox yeah. mount, but with pretty much with all the uh, Bauer mounts. The, yeah. the only problem with um, AD200 Pro is the recycling time is slower than AD300 Pro, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. And, I mean, previously to this, I was just using AD200 Pro at weddings for, like, you know, a quick backflash shot. So my knowledge, yeah. you know, in terms of that is just i mean just that so i'm still sort of yeah. learning but i do find the 8300 recycling time is much better and yeah. i love the I love, this may seem so crazy but i love all the buttons at the back like the little wheel the, the dial oh, yeah. wheel <laughs> it's yeah, just it's so funny. simple it's so simple things that you just love like it's really yeah. easy to just quickly go back and just change what you need to do yeah not that the 8200 pro is you know, overly complicated. Yeah. It's just those little touches that make a difference. Yeah. Hello, Michael. Hi. Yeah. 
So um, I I was you know even I've been considering to be a technical person, right? When people asking me about uh, recycling time, I wasn't I wasn't able to answer them because you know with different power they have different recycling time. It's mm -hmm. it's between 0 0.01 second to one point five seconds with eighty three hundred pro, but mm -hmm. it really depends on what sort of power you are using as output, right? Yeah. But the way I answer the question is with eighty two hundred pro, it's more like a pistol. Pew, pew. <laughs> with any 300 pro it's more like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so yeah yeah i like and, i said uh, i'm not i'm not the most technical person but i just like gear that works for me and does the right thing when it needs to and both those both those um flashes have always been you know great and worked with no worries for me so that's where my knowledge goes <laughs> as long as it yeah. works that's amazing exactly yeah. Uh, do you want to show us how you um? How, guess here's here's something exciting coming. Do you want to show us how you do your um? You know, uh, right, work, edit post for edit. Yeah. Yeah. One second. Let me get my stuff ready. Um. um, 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 um. Yep. I've got one ready to go. I'm just going to start sharing my screen. So. I'll just stop screen. Yep. I'm gonna go Photoshop. Oops. No worries. Take your time. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just trying to get the right. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to open in camera raw and then to Photoshop. But I think this particular image, I don't really need to do any backdrop adjustments, but we'll see. Let's open it and we'll yep. see how we go. So this is the raw shot. And sec, uh, wait, um, add to string. How, how should I remove myself? No, I should remove myself. I, I can't hear you now, Aries. You've disappeared off the face of the earth. Hello, Aries. I'll just jump straight into doing the editing. Um, this particular image, like if I zoom in, it looks pretty good. The backdrop is, is looking really good. Normally, sometimes you get a little bit of crinkles in the backdrop, in the background, but this particular image, if you just open up the shadows there, just yeah it's pretty good in the background background so this is probably not the the best image to choose to do any editing but let's just play around what i would probably do is increase the blacks a little bit get rid of a bit of highlight i like opening up my shadows heaps are you back there aries have i got you back yeah, i'm back there yeah <laughs> i'm just going to no i'm just going to temporarily remove myself oh, oh it's okay yeah. I'll, I'll stay i'll stay there yeah, I was trying I to remove them. myself so people can focus on you, that's all. No worries. So, I mean, like I was, I don't know if you heard what I was saying, but the, the raw photo is pretty good. I didn't need to do much to the background. The only thing I'd probably do in this situation is clean up these bits. Um, and I would use in the clone tool for this. This is just me doing I, I a bit of a... See, I, can't, I can't see your... Oh. Oh, sharing because i haven't said sorry my bad that's all right because <laughs> i just took it out of um out of um adobe camera raw back into photoshop so let's go into photoshop open yep. perfect all right out to string perfect so all right guys uh, so photoshop is coming i didn't like i said to um to everyone before i don't need to do much to this image because I mean, the background looks really good. The lighting's pretty good. All I would do to, to make this image a little bit better is probably get rid of these little wispy bits. Would you do that, Aries, if this was your shoot? Would you get rid of things like that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was yeah. pretty much thinking the same thing. Clean up all that, you know, this hair, because obviously the light, being blonde as well, the light catches it. Um, and you just sort of, I mean, this is this is rush, but you've got to make sure that you, your hair doesn't look weird either. 
Um, it's more like a girl's thing, right? Yeah. yeah. It's just because it's just that those little split, we call them split ends that just sort of stick up. And especially being a blonde too, as soon yeah. as you um take the photograph with the flash, yeah. those little wispy bits get illuminated there. Yeah. But that's that's basically all. There's some other images that I've got to show you guys um, that are that need more editing. That will be more um, better for me to photograph uh, to edit. But that's that's where we are with that one. And I guess we can go on to the next video if you like. Sure, go ahead. We've got some fun. Uh, well, videos. meanwhile, let's uh, let's try to address some question. Uh, yeah. Renav was asking the question: How accurate are eighty three hundred Pro colors with eighty two hundred Pro? Um, pretty good. Sometimes, yeah. and you may be able to help me with this, Aries, because yep. uh, this is a question that I'd love to be answered as well. But sometimes sure. when I take the shot, um, like I'll take two shots or three shots, and one mm -hmm. shot will be, you know, pretty much what you're seeing on Photoshop, but then one, the next shot might be warmer. Do you know how, why that happens? Okay. So basically if you don't, if you're doing studio shots, I would advise people to use a uh, color mode with color mode, the color white balance uh, variation. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, uh, it's, you know, plus minus hundred K, something like that. So I, uh, if I have the problem like that, it's probably because I didn't turn on the color mode. Yeah. So just turn on the color, the color mode. Okay. I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, it's, let me it quickly it's Google it. It never bothered yeah. me. It's just, it doesn't bother me. It's just, it's, um, it's, it's just weird because I'm just like, where is that warm color? Like the, the, the first photo was, you know, you know, correctly co exposed color. And then the next yeah. one is warm. And I'm like, that's strange. But like, sometimes I really like the warm one. So it gives me a bit of variety, but I just don't know why it's happening. But most of the time, yeah. the um, colors are very accurate. <laughs> yeah. As you see. So they have, uh, they have a color temperature mode. Just turn that on to, to you know, if you're shooting multiple strokes. Yeah, that's the thing. Perfect. Any more questions there? Someone said I had to fix the hair a few times. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. yeah so Michael's normal. question is: Does color mode slow down shooting like eighty three, eighty six hundred, eighty six hundred Pro? Uh, not that I am aware of. I use color mode uh, in in my last photo shoots when I was indoor. That uh, the recycling time still the same. Thank you for answering that because I would no not worries. have an idea. <laughs> um. Okie dokie. All right. We'll go to the next video. Sure. Go ahead. Awesome. So I will remove this one from yeah. the, yep. Okay. Open. Bear with me, guys. It's all about opening no screens and getting it all good for you guys. Um, By the way, did you lose yeah. some weight? Because your jawline Me? looks great. Yeah. I was going to say I've put on weight from ISO. Should I say ISO? Yeah. <laughs> ISO. Um, the other day, like, okay, I don't know if anyone follows me here on Instagram, but, like, I've had chocolates, box of chocolates sent to my house every day from my mum and my sister. Um, oh. It was a belated birthday present. And, like, I'm talking hundreds of chocolates, hundreds, and every day, I can't help myself. I've been getting pimples. <laughs> Just, it's really bad. But so no, to the answer to your question is I have not lost weight. <laughs> if anything, yeah. I've put on weight. All right, we're, we're in. The next um, yep. setup is, you know, mum and daughter and some family shots. So these are just like, this is my couch that I had in the studio. The backdrop, again, two pieces of material. I can't get material that is, you know, that wide from my material shop. So what I've done is just gotten two pieces. I think they're 1.5 meters each and then stuck them together. And then the idea is to Photoshop the line out later on. It's really simple and easy. Um, I mean, later on when I get myself a bit of backdrops, hopefully I won't have that line in there, but this works for now. More cuddle into 
Shake your head. Yeah. Gorgeous. <sighs> Cute. Look at the little daughter looking at mum. Yeah. So, cute. so what did you say? I'm curious. Like what did you I say just said, to make look, her? Look at, I just said look at mommy, but she's like the most perfect model. Like she's just so good. Like she's mm. she's so there you could see like how it was warm for a second there and then it's gone cool, what I was talking about. But um yeah. or did you um did you tell, it might be, did you fix your white balance? Because, you know, even it's on normal modes, it, the color temperature wouldn't vary that much. Did you fix that on flash mode? No. Okay. That so just... might be the thing. The kids were saying, I'm hungry, I want to go home. I'm, I'm over <laughs> Keep on feeding them chocolate. I know. Like, I the chocolate the you chocolate. had. Yeah. I gave them that. I said, if you do it, I'll give you all this chocolate. <laughs> Take oh my gosh. it from my house. Uh, you are so charming. Look at mum kids, but mum just look at me. <laughs> My love. Perfect. All right, give mum a break. It'll be just these are my final edits. And looks like looks great. So back to the discussion. Maybe um, it, usually the the camera, you know, even it's not in the color temperature mode. The um, uh, the color white balance wouldn't shift that much because it is Godox forte that to control the um, the white the color temperature. Mm -hmm. It might be we need to s fix the color temperature on the camera to be flash or on yeah. fifty seven hundred K or something like those. But yeah, that's a yeah. just side to side side topic yeah. really. Um, yeah, no, for sure. I, I I knew that it was something that I was doing, not not no. not a flash error. <laughs> like no, no, um, no, no, it's not an error. So what have we got? Have we got any questions? Somebody said, do do yeah. I always shoot in high speed sync? May I know why? I like shooting like 1.4, 2.8. So <laughs> I um that's generally why I shoot with high speed sync so I can have my shutter speed up really high. Oh uh, to compensate for that exposure, 1.4 and you know 2.8. Um, do you always shoot in high speed sync areas? Like, what's your thing? No, you, no, no. Um, I uh, I'm a I'm a Asian. I try yeah. to I, I you know I try to save all my powers and battery. I guess it's mm -hmm. the habit I developed from um, from how to flash age. Right, mm -hmm. you have four double A batteries. 
And with your, I don't know, EX600 with those traditional Hosh flash, it only lasts for like 200 shots and then you have to change mm -hmm. battery. So mm -hmm. I try to avoid high speed sync whenever I can, right? So mm. with studio shots, I never, I never really use high speed sync because the flash duration time is quite short. Mm -hmm. um, with outdoors, I used to bring all those ND filters with me <laughs> to yeah. save the power, to cut down the power. But mm. ever since, I think ever since last year, I started to do lots of high speed sync because I find that high speed sync actually works like a charm. So I can, I don't have, uh, main reason is I swap, you know, from those big backpack mm -hmm. to to the small backpack, like the mirrorless backpack. So which I don't mm -hmm. have that much space with all those accessories. So I just to use high speed sync, which it works yeah. work, works perfect. Yeah, it, well, will drain, it will drain your battery a bit, to be honest. It will drain your mm -hmm. battery, mm -hmm. but it's uh, still better than bring all those ND filters and screw them on with me yeah so what the, settings yeah. would you shoot though like if you're shooting like an outdoor sh like shot do you always shoot like f5 or f you know uh i shoot i sh you know like the, the 8300 shots mm -hmm. uh i did in the last video which by the way we're going we're going to talk by the way guys uh this week it's uh, actually it's going to share her um studio shots um next week we're going to talk about my location shots with 8300 as well. So we, in that shot, I just go for 1.4 all the yeah. time, all mm -hmm. the time, you know, mm -hmm. whenever I can to have the bokeh. And, uh, you know, um, because it is so dreamy with mm -hmm. 1.4, the, the skin is actually, you know, the focus is always on the eyes and her face mm -hmm. is actually blurred, kind of blurred in out of the, you know, out of focus. So it's less skin retouching to do. <laughs> yeah, lazy. yeah, of course. Yeah. That's why I love it. Um, but like, just, I'm just asking the questions because I'm very, yeah. I guess, somewhat new to flashes. Um, so would you have your shutter at like one over 250 or something and then, 1.4 and then like your ISO would be what a hundred or something. I always yeah when I when I go outdoor I just go ISO 50 because yeah. it's the lowest ISO you could go and go for 1.4 and have wh whatever shutter you need. Yeah. Um, then you decide what a natural light should look like. Then you are adding lights and that's it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I just learned something new. You learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Should we do another um, a Photoshop retouching thing? Because this one I know is going to be good for backdrop because, yeah. as you can see in this and versus the actual photograph, there's a little yeah. bit of lines and stuff that, you know, needs to come out. So should I share or not? Go for it. Go for it? All right, let's go. I'm going to find that image one second. Here we go. All right. Oh, no, that's. I'm just going to pull the JPEG into Photoshop because I can't find the raw right now. I've got the JPEG. Someone just said hello from Italy. <laughs> So his question is, how to choose your light? How do I choose my light? Like yeah. what light I'm going to use or like? That, that was a very short, relevantly short question. I think that's yeah. uh, that's Michelle. How to, how to pronounce that? Michelle? How do I choose my light? Um, Macaulay? Yeah. Macaulay? Yeah. Yeah. How do I choose my light? It depends on like the situation. Like if I'm shooting a wedding, for example, like um, how do I choose my light? I'll probably sort of work out what the environment's like. You know, if, if I've got the natural light there, I'll just try and, you know, use natural light. Um, but if I want to create some mood and drama in the image, I'll sort of get my, my flash out. Um, but mainly I'm just like, choosing the light around the environment really and and the people but with portraits um i just like to i've just started using the 8300 pro for portraits so that's how i've chosen that light but yeah i hope that answers your question all right now this 
this is just a JPEG I've just put into raw, uh, into sorry, Photoshop. So things like, you know, is it sharing? I think I which one? That one. Did right? I just, Photoshop, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah, shared. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. shared. Yeah. yeah. Go so ahead. I just got my um band-aid tool and I'm just literally getting rid of all the, you know, the lines that I can. Now I wanted to extend the backdrop. So I'm going to get my clone tool. And you know what? Some people may do this an easier way. I think I do this the hardest way. Aries, do you have any suggestions how to do this easier? Because I feel like what I do that? this. To, like making the, the backdrop like extended out so I can get rid of the um, the chair and the, the uh, light. I would just select that area and... Um, yeah, I knew there was someone that... <laughs> that just there's an easier way. But yeah, so I sort of just clone. Um, I mean, this is really rough, guys. So if I was doing this for my client, I would really take my time a lot more. Um, well, your way works like a charm. Yeah. Uh, you know how you just have your, your, your ways and you just stick to it and you don't want to learn other ways, but you know there's an easier way, but you always take the hard road. That's, that's what I do. This is actually what I... Um, what I've been doing for the last couple of years until mm. I recently update, uh, updated my Photoshop. Mm. So they they actually improved their uh, context where few, mm -hmm. which works like a charm. Check it out, yeah. check it out. I need to check it out because yeah. I know I'm doing this the hard way. Um, but yeah, that's on my list of things. But yeah, so you guys get the drift. I'm just sort of playing around I haven't put this photo through raw. This is just the JPEG. So normally I would just play around with, you know, the colors and the blacks, bring in some more contrast. But I'm just literally showing you how I can, oh, we've got a little foot there, <laughs> how you can clean up your backdrop um, to make it more smoother. And sometimes I like to make it a little bit darker. Again, this is probably... Not the, not everyone's way, but it's the way I do things. <laughs> Aries, you can call like me. I like it dark and moody. It's it's yeah. your way. It's it's yeah. your personality, right? If yeah. people know you, yeah. You know, clean up the backdrop there. And there's like little things you can do. Hmm. So yeah. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, and that's probably why I, I take the hard road because it's easy for me, but I'm sure there's a better way. So what did oh you God, say? You are, so, you, are, you are so efficient. <laughs> I am really quick at Photoshop. I am. I will give you that. I am really quick. Um, obviously, there's a lot more things I would do to this, like, you know, change the color and play around with it a lot more. But um, you guys get the drift there. Yeah. How do you so, do yeah. Which are you reading? The the softbox one. Yeah. How did I decide yeah, what? Okay. Uh, let me. Yeah. Let me just show show the question so everybody can mm -hmm. can see the question. Yeah. Um. Well, I got the smaller one because I thought it would be easier for me to shoot weddings with the smaller one to get around with, but I feel like for portraits you probably need a bigger one. Um, yeah. So, you, you know, there's things about, you know, my my shots that I wish, like, I had a bigger one so I could light up the feet and the body a little bit more. Um, but I, I particularly chose the smaller one just for wedding so that I can easily cart it around. Um, yeah. That's it. But it depends what you're shooting, so you're, really. So you, your advice will be for portrait shots, the bigger it might be better, right? Yeah, the bigger the better, mm. <laughs> as they yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Michael is listening. I'm just saying, Michael, you you listen. You heard you you heard us, right? We need the uh, we need the umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I really. I will. Like every time I, I message Aries, and I'm like, how do I do? How do I get this better? And he's like, you need a bigger one. <laughs> I'm like, I need to get yeah. one. Um, yeah. Yeah. The light is the you know the general idea is. It, 
more lights you have, the more you know flexibility when you set up the lights. The bigger mm. uh, you know, the bigger the softbox is, usually the softer the light is, right? That's right. Yeah. But yeah, it's all part of learning, you know. Um, and I and like I said before, like I'm just learning all this, and um, definitely a bigger softbox will be on the agenda soon. Um, yeah. So I can get even better. But this image looks beautiful. To be honest, yeah, it almost looks like a beauty dish to me. Mm. Don't you think well, so? Mm. Yeah, I, it's not, but I um I want to play around with the beauty dish too because I do have that. Um, mm. but yeah, I need to spend some time playing around with that as well. No worries. Awesome. So should we go next one? Yeah, let's go. Right. Um, POS. Let me just play Manage? around with different setup. Is this setup better? Oh, this. Oh, sorry, that was city. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. I'm going to show you this one. I shot this today with my niece. I asked her to come in. I said, I really want to try and show you guys different lighting, like different lighting angles. So, you know, it's, it's important to know what sort of feel you want from an image by how you're going to light it. So, and you'll see in the video that I find I find the, the lighting style that I love best for this particular model. Um, let me go in there. Stop sharing, share screen. Yeah. Do you want to quickly answer Michael's question? Oh, yeah. What did Michael say? Yes, I do have a grid. And you know what? I did put the grid on for this shoot. But... It was like it was a little hard because I had three people, so I I wanted a little bit more light over overall of uh, overall the image. But I do love grids because it gives you the direction that you need. But I lo I use grids a lot in my wedding photography work with AD two hundred Pro that I've been using for you know a good six six to nine months now. Um, especially with my night shots, I love putting the grid on because it gets, controls the direction of the light and the light um, does it, it minimizes that spread all over the ground. That I, mm. every time I do a night shot, I always put it back into post and I'm like, there's too much light going on on the bottom. So the grid is really good to control that direction. But um, I do have a grid and I like it, but I just didn't use it for this particular one. All right, let's get no. this one up. Okay. Open with. Sorry, I'm just getting it now. I'm just opening. Take your time. My computer no worries. Re really slow today. <laughs> no, it's go. because you are doing the demo as well. You know, um, it's kind of drain your video cards. That's all. I can imagine. All right, yeah. I'm sharing. All right, add to the stream now. Yep. This one goes for five minutes, so hang tight, guys. And sorry if it's if you um get a little bit bored, but it is good. No worries. Oh. <laughs> I left the lens cap on. Who still does that? I do it all the time. I leave the lens cap on. Oh, beautiful. So <laughs> she's cute. All right, now we're 
I love how light, like you change the angle and it just completely changes how the image looks. I love that. I love light. <laughs> the more, oh, the mood, right? Yeah. I like the fact that you're actually leading the model as well as the background. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't like this particular setup, but I just, I'm doing it to show you guys what the light looks like from behind, but yeah, it's like. And you are so efficient. You know that? I'm <laughs> really quick. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. I like that shot. Yeah. It's kind I of mean, moody. It's, I, like, it's, I like it. It's, like I said, light is all about, like, there's no right or wrong, is there? It's all about what you love and what how you want your image to look. Don't you, don't, don't, don't that remind you of the twilight sort of? Twilight, you know, yeah. Where like you know they were uh, kissing in the um, in the ocean backlit with the moon yeah. rising up. That's yeah, true. That, that was one of my favorite things. Yeah, you always come up with the best stories of an image, don't you, Aries? <laughs> it was just it. It's so nice and moody. It's kind of a, a bit on the cold side. So actually, yeah. quickly reminds me the movie scene. Yeah, this is my favorite style of lighting for this for her particular. Like I love it. Yeah. It suits her so much. This lighting style really suits you. Let me give her a little reflective to hold. It's really tiny. Um, we're just going to ask her to hold that like that. So hopefully. When the light comes down and that little reflector came in the AD300 Pro. I love it. It's so tiny, but it's cute. That's a smart way of using it. <laughs> oh, nice. So all of a sudden you have the clamshell light. Yeah. Something so that I've just learned recently as well. So now I've added in an AD200 Pro, just the back there. Bit separation light, beautiful. That's without. Yep. And that's with. So that's it. that's um a little demonstration on different sort of lighting styles. What what do you like best out of them? Which light do you like? Personally, I quite enjoy the clamshell. Yeah. Yeah. Light and yeah. also like I, I I prefer the one you use a bit of separation light. So we we have a kiss of lights. Yeah. Very subtle of eighty two hundred on her arms and hair. Yeah. Which is yeah. It works like a charm. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it just depends yeah. what you, how you want your image to look, really, and how you want the mood to. But that's the best thing about lighting is you can play around. And, and the best thing about using strobes is you can manipulate the light how you want. You don't have to. Yeah. Um, you're not stuck with you know natural lighting. You sort of have to. You get what you you get what you get, and you don't get upset. <laughs> but like with strobes, you can actually get what you want, and um, yeah. that's what I. That's I what think, I love. I think it's. Too. Yeah, I think it's almost like uh, the difference between uh, Renaissance painting. People, you know, all the painters, great, the, those great masters, Vermeer or mm -hmm. you know Rembrandt, they were trying to paint the real world. But ever mm -hmm. since Vincent Van Gogh and Paul Gauguin, they're trying to express their feelings, right? Pablo Picasso. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like when you use flash, you try to create what you pre-visualized, right? That's Not right. the real world, but your ideal world in yeah. a sense, right? And it's so much fun. Like, do you know what's good about using flash is that, like, you try your first shot and you're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not really loving that. And then you might try something else and you're like, it's getting there. And then you finally get it and you're like, yes, that's the one. I'm so happy. <laughs> Whereas, like, natural light, you just sort of got to get what you got, like, get. So, yeah, um, yeah. and I, like I said before, I 
you know, started dappling in these portrait um, portrait shoots. I I have my studio set up and I do um, newborn and family work very rarely. Um, but I was only using natural light and I felt like my images, like if you have a look at some of my old images versus now, I should have put some in there. But my family images were really flat and boring and just like plain. And I feel like now my family images, they're just like, I'm I feel really proud of them. Like I understand I've got heaps, I've got a lot of work to go to get to, um, you know, better, but I feel really proud of like what I'm producing at the moment. So um, yeah. And being able to control that light is really important. Shall we take a bit of time to answer some of the questions? Go maybe? for it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Which light is good for both indoor and outdoor? Well, I mean, like outdoor light, like obviously for me being a wedding photographer, my preference is especially when you're under time constraints and you've got, you know, your bride and your groom and they want to get back to their wedding reception. I generally use natural light because you can do your walking shots and you can do your candid, you know, natural, you know, play around shots easily in natural light, unless it's like, you know, a really bad day and the sun's really bright and you can't find, you know, any shade. When I'm doing like, when I'm doing, um, my wow shots I call them my wow shots when I'm doing my shots that I like to set up perfectly and like really think about it placement of the bride and you know not it's not candid at all it's like really staged I love using my um my flashes and that's mainly at night time that I use them sometimes I, when I'm shooting indoor like a, a really extravagant location like um Campbell Point House if anyone knows that place you know Labassa many Melbourne people would know Labassa, it's very dark in there. So I'm going to bring in a flash. Um, and so, and then also then you've got constant light, like you've got the, the light, this thing you can use. And these are great little tools as well. Like if you're wanting to see where the light falls, constant light is really good because you, you can place it where you want and you can see what you want. Um, and they're, you know, they're, they're great little um, tools to have in your bag. But I would say, the best light is whatever light you want to work with at the time. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, let's look at this question. Umbrella black is a reflective umbrella light. Which will be better in run and gun situations? Please suggest me. Um, large, just versus. Uh, Run and gun situation. So, like, I'm I'm assuming, like, as a wedding photographer, that's run and gun. Like, we're we're on the go. Um, I would say what I'm using right now in this in the in the video, um, that little setup is so easy. Like, I don't even have to like I could put that in the back of my car already on the stand and on the umbrella, and literally get out of the car to do my shots and just have it all ready to go. Um, and I don't have to set it up. Like, it's that is the most perfect like setup, I think. So I would say I would suggest that. What would you suggest, Aries? Um, he's saying umbrella or softbox, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say umbrella softbox, which is what you're using now. It's yeah, an umbrella yeah. softbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it actually um, works like a charm. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's and not it's too cool. big. You just put it in your car, and that's yeah that's it and you don't have to fold that down if you don't want to you can just literally put on the back seat which is which is great if you've got your assistant you can just get them to take it out even if you don't have an assistant like I don't usually have assistants work with me often on weddings so um everything's just me and then possibly the videographer on the day that might lend me a hand mm -hmm. so that little light that you're seeing in my videos I'm going to bring it on weddings and it's going to be fine for me to get around with yeah. Cool. Someone Let's said, look at it. Yeah. How, how can make light soft more? A larger umbrella would make it more soft, would you say? Definitely. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I'm totally aware of that. I know that mine is quite small. Like I said, I've, I've got that for weddings. So I've just been playing around and I, I, I think a larger one would definitely make more sense. I kind of like, 
that style though like I like the shadows I love shadows like I um sort of embrace shadows in my photography work so I'm not hating how the images are turning out but like if I'm going to be a perfectionist I would probably suggest a larger umbrella mm. yep maybe you can answer this question because I um, no. um I'm just having problem with converting the inches into centimeters <laughs> <laughs> 34 inches, it's like what? One meter? Third, um, 42 think, inches, a parabolic softbox. 42, what's 42 times three? Like I point. think two inches is like one centimeter. Is that right? No. Yeah. Sorry. Two inches is like four centimeters. Is that right? Oh, gosh. We are so bad <laughs> with <laughs> mechanics. Yeah. You want me to Google? I'll Google I, I guess I, I, don't, I, I don't know what um, uh, what exact the size is, but the, the yeah, the bigger, the better, right? The, you know, because especially when you shoot group, you probably, you know, depends on the group size. If you talk about group two, then one one meter or 1.8 meters, you'll yeah. get away with it. But if you're shooting a group of five, then you probably need to set up multiple lights, right? At least two lights, two 1.8 meters umbrella with softbox, that'd be ideal. Uh, if you want even softer lights, like, you know, the Hollow Wish look, or any of the bullets kind of look, you probably need two or three 1.8 meters uh, umbrella with diffuser. That's a, mm. that's a general rule. So, you know, if you, one light source is not big enough, you probably need to combine multiple light sources, right? And remember what you told me last night when we were speaking, because um, I actually asked Aries that. I'm like, I want to get my, because I, like, I love doing my Vanity Fair style shots at weddings, and I would love to start using my 8300 for this. And I'm like, I need a bigger umbrella for this. But then it's so much to carry around. And Aries suggested just doing it as a composite. So, like, yeah. take the photo with the flash there, move it along. Yeah, that's a long way to go. It's a, but, it's a yeah, it's, it's better. It's it's better. Michael could send, send you a 1.8 meters so, uh, umbrella with yeah. diffuser, though. Yeah. Yeah. And can Michael <laughs> also come out and, and and be my assistant and hold it as well? Because, <laughs> like, yeah. imagine that's, getting in the car with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're pushing the boundaries you're pushing the boundaries <laughs> all right let's say what softbox is good for newborn um well would you suggest so what's the next size up from what i'm using at the moment i i guess 85 yeah. uh 85 you know 80 80 85 that's 85 centimeters and they have 1.2 yeah. yeah. uh, with 1.2 they have which is that silver one behind me? That's P one one twenty L. That's which is parabolic softbox. But mm -hmm. I would, uh, uh, you know, for newborn, I I would have advised uh, octabox, which is softer. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I think one point A works like a charm. This is one point mm -hmm. A. Um, but I'll yeah. just put a diffuser there. It works like a charm. It works with 80, um, 80, 80, 200. So yeah. And is that easy to open? Like, do you just take it off and like, like, like treat yeah, it like it's a, an umbrella? Like yeah, it's yeah, an umbrella. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah. you can use it to shoot photos. So if it's raining day, you can use it to cover <laughs> you your family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, a good one. That's really good. Yeah. So, how does the depth of? Let's. Uh, there are lots of questions. Why don't we just play a video? And after the video, let's come yeah, back wow. and answer more questions, yeah. shall we? All yeah. right, let's go back. Yeah. Um, all right, we've got. I've got a cool one now, and this is using the um, Godox that. Is there a proper name for that? Because I looked it up and it says light stick. So um, if you have the proper term, term for, for that. Um, what, what is light stick? The light stick that I've got in the back here. I looked it up on Godox's um, website and they call, they call it the light stick, this thing. Oh, is that uh, what LC500 RGB okay. light, yeah. light so, stick. Yeah. So in the next um, in the next one, I'm going to show you guys me using that, as well as using my um, AD300 Pro, as well as the AD200 Pro, but just using the constant light on there, which is awesome as well because it's that's like you've got the best of both worlds. And I'm just getting it up now. Videos, then open. Sorry, it's saying fetching. Give me a second. Oh, here we go. 
flat. Shift screen. I'm sharing. Yep, I'm adding. Constant light. Okay. It's a bit broken, isn't it? Slide come forward. Yeah, yeah. Hands and pockets. Look like a real boy. <laughs> I love this light. That's my favorite. <laughs> it's fun as well. Yeah. It looks funky. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing. Towards, look towards the light that way. So profile photo all the way, all the way, all the way. Yeah. So you don't like it. <gasps> Gorgeous. Perfect. Yeah. And you like it. Yeah, and then you like it. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> His face is priceless. <laughs> so funny. Really lean on The mom comes in to help. <laughs> How cool is that little light? Just the hint, like the hint of the colors. It's just, it's just fun, you know. It's it's a fun light. Yeah, I enjoy the fact that you're using analog as color palettes because the purple, which is very close yeah. to blue, right? It works like a charm. Yeah. yeah. I think they're just really cute, fun shots, you know, and that that's yeah. using the um the eighty three hundred pro and two hundred pro on the constant light. So and then just using the um the LC five hundred R. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that light. I can't wait to use that for for weddings, just to like you know have something fun to have in your bag and just like play around with. I'm stealing it from my sister. It's actually Nikki's, but I'm stealing it from her. Okay, so let's uh, let's try to um, maybe address some questions. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Um, what is the, the little, is it an AKR? AKR1. R1. That little kit is so awesome. It's got every little thing in there that you need for your modifiers. Um, unless you're wanting to go for something like bigger, like a softbox, like what I'm using in there. That little kit has got a little softbox, sorry, a little soft um, filter. It's got your grid. It's got your barn doors. It's got your colored, like your color temperatures as well. That, that I've been using that little um, kit for like nine months now and I love it. I, I, there's just so many awesome little attachments that you can use, um, but it all depends on what you're shooting too. What okay, would you, cool. Is that a good answer to that question? 
Yeah, I think that's a great answer. Yeah. What do you think about on camera flash? What is the meme? On camera flash is not my favorite style of lighting, but necessary in certain situations, like if you're an event photographer or you're shooting like a wedding reception. Um, or, you know, you're, you're going out shooting a nightclub and you're doing some happy snaps. So that's the only time I really use uh, – so I'm a wedding photographer. I only use on-camera flash when I am doing the reception and that's mainly when I'm doing all my party shots just because I don't need to think about it. I'm sort of just like bang, 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 and it works every time. I'm using the V1. Um, sometimes I will use my on-camera flash for a ceremony if I think – it's too dark and I need to get a little bit more light in there. But I try to avoid using on-camera flash if I don't need to. Yeah. Guys, for uh, for the time time constraints, we, we will only be able to select uh, some of the questions to answer them. And for the rest of them, maybe we can answer that next time. All right. So, yeah. Would you invest in 280200 versus 8300 and 400 for a bent? More flexibility using two, even though they are old models. Sorry for second question. So, would I invest into um, it? Like for event, like are you shoot? Like I it's need to be more specific. Like if if it's me shooting a wedding, um, I have been using. I've got two eighty two hundreds. Um, I rarely use two but that's just my style sometimes i'll use two like if i'm doing a group shot and i need more light on each side um but mainly my style is very minimal with flashes and i like to use the 8200 back flashing and stuff like that but so is this person asking two would I, would they invest in two 8200s versus one 8300 or how do you I think is uh, yeah, would you invest in two vs? He says, you know, if he has certain budget, right? Would you mm. prefer to buy one eighty three hundred or buy two eighty two hundred? If it was me, I would buy yeah. one eighty three hundred because yeah. I only really use one light mainly mm. when I'm shooting a wedding, and the eighty three hundred is just so good. I love it. So yeah. <laughs> definitely, cool. Um, yeah. So let's answer the one final question and uh, let's move on to the next vi next video, shall we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. there going to be a strip softbox to fit the? So I don't know. Maybe you can answer that question. Is there going to be a strip so softbox? I I think I think your um to to start with your your S eighty S sixty five come with great right it can mm. be used as a strip box in a in mm -hmm. a sense mm -hmm. but if you really need a strip box uh, uh with godox there's a bow it's a bow amount uh 35 to 160 centimeters strip box like you know rectangle one like like that size um then just get s2 type brackets s2 type brackets well uh, so s2 type brackets will adapt 8300 pro to a strap box, you know, and that's it. Easy, works like a charm. So um, just to ask, is it, when he says strip soft box, does he mean like a long one? Yeah, like it's that? like yeah. a long, to have a, you know. More body. Remember so the, like yeah, remember the, um, the Yip Man, or, you know, Bruce Lee shot I did? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to do the hollow lighting, they need a two strip box in the in the back to give a separation yeah. lights. So yeah, it's yeah. easier to cut it off and you know with, with that. So that's they call sometimes some people call that strip box. Yeah. Yeah. You can use that with anything, to be honest. Yeah. yeah you can yeah. even use the 80, 8065 to to cut it off. That's that's no problem. Yeah. Yeah, so. for sure. Should we do next video? Yeah. Or? Yep. Yeah. Oh man, lots of questions tonight. Must be everyone's. Oh well, I mean, everyone's from different countries. So what? Like, what time t time zone yeah. is everyone in at the moment? Because it's yeah. ten thirteen here, and probably yeah. lots of people are tucked in bed, aren't they? <laughs> um, is that this one? No. No, no, no. I'm getting it now. Okay. Sorry. Sure. No worries. Take your time.
Okay, we can, I'm going into share. So this is just a couple of portraits of the children on their own. So when I'm doing like a family shoot, I sort of do it in sequences of like obviously family first, then I might do a shot of each child and then I might do the children together. So I just try and shoot as much as I can to give the family as many options um, as I can because ultimately you want them to buy as much as you can so that you um, can make money. <laughs> So just shooting different variances as much as you can, you know, you, you tend to gauge when enough is enough from your client too. Like you can see I, I'm very, I'm very, um, I don't like to push my clients too much. Like I'll push them to know that I need to get what I need, but like I won't get to a point where they're like getting grumpy and I know that they're over it. Once I know I've got everything, I'll sort of move on. But I like to get as much as I can for me to get more sales, as anybody probably does. So here is the... Right, here we go. Let me add to the string. Yep. <laughs> we got the music back on because the, the little boy was getting nervous. Yeah, <laughs> he's embarrassed. It's so funny. He's embarrassed for his sister, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny. He's trying to be the calm and uh, mature and the responsible yeah. one, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. He's embarrassed. Oh man, I love that guy. And your arm up too. Um. Yeah, 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 perfect. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can move your body a bit closer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's usually so good. Oh, I ate the icing there. No, <laughs> what were they saying? Okay, look at me. Look at me. Um, I said, Evie, you're so you're normally so good at modeling, to, and she's like, "Are you saying I'm not good today?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 happy now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> did you hear what she said? No, no. What did he say? He goes, Don't do that face. You look like you're constipated. <laughs> oh my God. The kids are so this much so fun. funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And like, <laughs> they just cracked me up. Your body plays up. Yeah. So cute. Cutie, it's even like my final edit. Yeah. That's so good. So you've got like, you know, a mix of like more posy portraits versus some cute fun ones, you know. Yeah. Um, I know like I love doing the po really posed stuff as well, like the, you know, the really, I call them my boss shots, like, you know, the impacting shots. But, you know, the parents really love those fun, you know, laughing and playing around shots as well. So it's important yeah. to get a bit of mix, don't you think? Yeah, I think um, yeah. let's just do be both, right? You, yeah. The, the secret is of your diet is to eat a bit of everything. You need chocolate yeah. to uh, yeah. to stay happy, but you need you need to you know stay healthy to eat other healthy green like exactly. I don't know baby spinach, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> the same thing with you when you serve a full dish of meal、mm. to your clients, right?、Mm -hmm, That's what I'm、mm -hmm. saying. A bit everything、yeah. work like. And I do the same like with my wedding work as well. Like I don't just stick to one particular style. Like I mix it up.、Mm. Like I do a bit of everything so that when you're giving your clients your photos back, they've got nothing to say. They they can't say, you know.、Oh, We love the pose one, but we're just missing a little bit of fun and atmosphere. So,、mm -hmm. or vice versa. So, it's important to mix it up, get what you can, and um, yeah, yeah more spreads in Melbourne. Yeah, and also the music, the music thing in the background. The little boy, he was really like um shy. He was he kept saying to me, oh. You know, I'm like I'm a bit, a bit like insecure. I don't, I don't like my teeth. I don't like smiling. So, like, if you feel like your client is, you know, feeling uneasy or, you know, a little bit shy, it's best to try and like get them out of their shell. So, like, music really helps. Like, especially if you're asking your client, "What is your favorite song? Like, what's the ultimate song that you always sing and dance to in the car or when you're drunk or, you know." That one song that gets you going. If you play that song instantly, like it's just like, yeah, like let's get into it. I'm really happy. So, I, me and my sister Nikki had this idea like a while back. Like we should start bringing like a boombox to weddings and play it on locations and like、yeah. play the music really loud and like get it going because like music really helps to get people to um you know relax a bit. To relax a bit, yeah. Same as alcohol, but you can't give kids alcohol. So, <laughs> yeah. Can I? Yeah, I will just quickly address the question because we've been answering them already in a in a、yeah. sense.、Uh, with S sixty five, or it's A D sixty five softbox. It comes with a grade, so you can use it as a stripe box. It comes.、Mm -hmm. So A D six five can can be used as a softbox, softbox with a grade, beauty dish. Beauty dish with a grade, all sorts. So have a look at the specification, Paul. I think that will solve your、uh, your problem. If you do need to adapt to one of your Bowen stripe box, then you can buy S two type brackets. S two type brackets basically help AD three hundred Pro to adapt to any Bowen mount soft box. Hope that helps. All right. So should we do next or? I saw a um I saw a comment、yep. made from Benjamin. Bearers,、um, he basically said, "Do you need the power? If not, go for two eighty two hundred, so you have a replacement if you have any issues." That's a really good comment to make, like especially if you're a wedding photographer and you rely a lot on your flashes. Like I had、um, many years ago, I had、um, my misses when I was using like just my、um, my like you know the. It was the Canon six hundred. I don't want to say the six hundred X one. Yeah, we all we all had, been there. Yeah, and I and I was using that as my off camera flash to do my night sort of back flash one. This is many years ago.、Um, much love my V one now, but <laughs>、um, and I had it on the stand, and someone knocked it over, and it was my only flash because I wasn't. Quite, like I wasn't into flash that much. I just used it as my reception, you know, at the receptions, and I was starting to dabble into like off-camera flash lighting, and、um, it dropped and it went pop. pop <gasps> like so, the globe inside had broke, and lucky it was like literally the last shot of the night. Like I was doing this shot, and then I was leaving. I got the shot, but I just think to、yeah. myself, imagine if. I had to go back into the reception, and I hadn't. I didn't have a flash like at all to use. It was a very dark venue. Like so, those that is a very good comment to make about having two AD two hundred, so you have the replacement, especially if you're a wedding photographer. I really liked that comment, so I had to bring it up. So Ben,、uh, may I add something here? Go for it. So、uh, I have. I had the same issue. So basically, what I do is I adding、um, S type bracket or S two type bracket because it's round. It's it it's very you know built strong strongly built right. Because if、mm -hmm. it falls sideways, it will、mm -hmm. actually protect the light. So、yeah. um, I think that's something you can、um, you can bring along with you when you mount、mm -hmm. your、um, your AD two hundred Pro. Even you still you don't mount any light modifier. You it it's well protect the lights 
from the side falling. Yeah. Mm, mm. In, yeah. In, well, some other I, experience. I have, you, I, I have to be honest with you, Aries. <laughs> my um my eighty three hundred Pro. Um, I need to get myself some new light stands because they are so bad. And I have actually dropped that that uh, <laughs> that flash because of the the light stand maybe three times, and it's not it's fine so that you're right about that um bracket it does protect it a lot and then especially even if it's got a softbox too it sort of lands on it gives a bit of protection but yeah yeah I, i'm all for having backups and replacements um when you're a wedding photographer even backup cameras like you have to always make sure that you especially if you rely on those sort of things yeah. like but, how you have to put sd card slots right yeah that's right yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I think we've got one more video left. Um, okay, sure, go for it. Yeah. I hope everyone's enjoying the videos. I am. That's good. Yeah. Guys, if, if you have any question, leave us comments below and we will try to answer those questions after after this video. Yeah? Yeah, sure. First shot bad lighting. <laughs> Just turning my heater off. Sorry. Ah. Oh. To be honest, I think the um, the color straight out of the out of the camera looks really, really good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What a camera, you know. What camera am I using? Yeah. <laughs> Panasonic S one. Um, I've been using it for like a year and a bit, a year and a half now, and um, yeah, I'm loving the system. I changed from Panasonic to Canon, um, and you changed yeah. what? I changed from I changed from Panas No, I changed from Canon to Panasonic. Yes, so I changed from Canon to Panasonic, and I love the colors of the Panasonic. Like literally, that's all raw. What you're seeing there, um, and I mean, I do put some edited ones in this, which I'll show you guys later. Some of the edited final. With your mouth, the way you do, yeah, that. What lens are you using? 50 mil. Yeah. 1.4. 1.4, yeah. Or I could be using the 24 to. No, I'm using the 50 mil here, definitely. I love my 50 mil lens. It's like my. It stays on my camera all the time. <laughs> so, would you advise people like. So, obviously, you have both lens, right? The 24 to 70 or 70, 24 yeah. to 1. Yeah. And you have 50. Um, yeah. Under which circumstance? Would you use 50 under which circumstance would you use 24 to 70? So because I had my um, my camera connected to the, the tethering cord there, I was restricted with how far I could go. So a lot of the times there I was using the 24 to, to 70 because I could zoom in and zoom out easier. Um, mm -hmm. But... I prefer the 50 mil for portraits. I love shooting at 1.4. I just love my 50 mil. I love like the it's just the best. And um, but if I'm shooting like a wedding, like and I've got my two bodies, my favorite lenses, like this, I could shoot a whole wedding with my 50 mil and my 16 to 35 mil because I feel like my 50 mil is all my you know light and airy, fun, candid sort of 
easy shots. Yeah. And then you've got your 16 to 35 mil for your wow impacting shots, you know, your landscapes. And even the 16 to 35 I use for reception shots so I can get like a lot of the atmosphere in there and just get like a lot of feel like if you're too tight on the dance floor, you lose a lot of like what's happening in the surrounding. And I feel like, and I've said this before in another Godox video that we did, but like lens choice is just so important when choosing like to take the photo, like how you want your image to look is like you need to pick the right lens for the right um the, the right atmosphere and i think it's a lot of people sort of get stuck on um using one particular like lens so like i know a lot of people might use you know the 35 mil a lot but like 16 mil is the best do you love a 16 mil lens 16 to 35 i love it it's one of my favorite lenses what do you love i used to and then, I was, to be honest, I uh, I love 50. 50, yeah. I do a lot of my shots with 50, but I, I was never a big fan of 60 to, 16 to 35. Oh, really? Um, I, I shoot mainly because of the weight. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. shoot 24. Yeah. 24. Yeah. I just put on, I just put on uh, prime lens because it's yeah. just lighter on my shoulder. That's all. Because I was, yeah. I'm, to be honest, I'm suffering a bit back pain, especially my lower back pain. Um, and um, so I, I try to keep my weight minimal. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. If I do sure. need wider, I will bring another camera body. Just leave that in my back. Take it out. Take it out whenever I need it. Yeah. yeah that's it. For sure. Um, uh, I think. Um, yep. I'm just looking at some like images now, like that I can edit. So I thought maybe I could um pull one up and do like an actual edit of what I would do but I thought maybe first I can show you guys like the final edits that I've sent in for printing for this this um this photo shoot so you can see the difference um someone said you're getting old <laughs> you're getting old Aries can I can I just block this guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love um, you too Michael yeah yeah so I thought maybe I'll share and yeah. show you guys like the final product of all the images that I did. And then maybe we can pull one of the shots, like the raw shots and show you like how I edit it, how I fix the backdrop and also change like change the coloring and stuff on it. So let's go back to sharing. Sure. Screen. Go for it. Okay. There we go. I reckon I should put this in. I reckon I should. I'm better off putting this in photo mechanics, aren't I? Because okay. you don't want to see all my files. Yeah. All right. I was like, you don't want to see all my stuff on my desktop, like all the work that I've done. Um, all right, let me get this up. Bear with me. If there's any questions, okay. you can just. We have all the time in the world. Guys, meanwhile, if, if you want to ask any question, please uh, leave that comment below. We would love to address them. If we missed any questions, someone said something about. Oh no, no, that I just that's Godox that wrote that. I saw a barn door thing and I was like, oh, hi, Christy, Kirsty, Christy. Yeah, Christy. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's taking so long. I'm just loading up Proto Mechanics now. Where's everyone from? If you're out there, tell us where you're from. Sorry, my um, my computer's really slow right now. That's all right. Because we are doing online streaming, as well as uh, if you go into uh, Lightroom or Photoshop, it's actually draining. Kind of, I don't know how it works, but it's kind of draining your um, yeah, draining your video card, and you start to have all these laggings. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. I'm just going to pull it into these into Photoshop actually and just show you through there the best option. Hello, so Germany. Like, <laughs> Germany. Rosny, Hello, Victorian. R Rumsey, Launceston, Melbourne, England. Hi. Hi, Sharon. All right. Let's go back to share. I'm going to share my Photoshop. Go for it. Right, this one? Let me know. Yeah. All right, cool. 
Photoshop? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. going to show you through some of the edits. So I've just sent all these off now to create like a little print box for the for the models. So these are my final choices. Um, I love this one. It's very yeah. texturized, and I've done that intentionally so that when it comes back on the print, it, it gives it that nice sort of painted look, which I love. Yeah. Love this one too. I like the way she sits there. Yeah. Quirky, but um, yeah. I have certain yeah, style and look. She looks like she's like, I'm a boss mum. Like, I can take on anything I want. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, I, like, just to like, comment here, um, maybe some people think, like, this backdrop looks messy at the bottom here. I choose to leave that in like that because I kind of like the feel that, yep, we're in a, we're in a studio and yeah. not everything's perfect. Like, I, I tend to try and get rid of the background as much, to, like, the, here, this part, but, like, this part I like that they're in, it, remind, it reminds me of like an olden day photo where they're in the studio and they're getting their shots done and you can see that. So that, I choose that yeah. to leave, I choose to leave that in there. Some people might take it out. Here's a beautiful one of her looking at her mum. Gorgeous. And I love the light on her face. Some people may think it's too bright, but I, I like it. It's good. Yeah. We call um, in, in Japanese, there is a word called wabi sabi. So mm -hmm. it's the imper imperfection makes it beautiful. Does it make sense? Like, yeah. yeah. What's it? Say that word again. Wabi kabi. Wabi wabi sabi. <laughs> wabi sabi. I'm gonna always. I'm yeah. gonna say that. So if you go to Japan, they have lots of old stuff. Like if you go to the temples, they have, um, you know, all those containers or even you know, which is really aged. So they call that really? wabi sabi. Yeah. I was supposed like yeah. I am. I'm legitimately supposed to be in Japan right now, actually. I had yeah. flight booked to go to Japan, and unfortunately due to COVID, um, yeah. I'm not able to be there, which is sad, but maybe next time. <laughs> we should go together. It's my fav one, one of my favorite places. Yeah. I really want to go when it blossoms so I can get those beautiful photos, but yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. So this, this, like, I mean, if you look at the difference between editing styles, I am definitely going for something different, and I'm changing the color up here. This is more sort of softer, sort of angelic feel to it, but still gorgeous. Mum looks good with her, like, little hint of an eye there. Mm. Do you actually choose uh, the wardrobe for them, or...? Um, you Sometimes, like, um, clients will ask me, what do you think they should wear? I've got a couple of dresses in the studio at the moment. I'm sort of collecting some because, like I said, I'm – sort of adapting this new thing, portrait thing. Um, so I'm sort of collecting some dresses that clients can wear. Um, but usually clients will ask me, you know, what what should they wear? And I sort of say stick to colour tones that are going to match. Don't do any patterns. Don't do any, like, colours that are going to clash with each other. So these colors work really well, I reckon. The um, the dress and the rust color looks really good. And I kind yeah. of like when clients are not wearing sort of, I like a little bit of edginess and a little bit of drama. So like a dress that looks a bit like wow and extravagant is, is what I would say, especially for these type of shoots. Like you couldn't pull off this same shot wearing like jeans, and you know a t-shirt you need yeah. to be really dressed up and that's why i say let's get a shot of just mum as well because she's dressed up you know mums don't always have the time to get dressed up and look good so yeah. it's good to get a shot of mum like we didn't have dad yeah. in, in this shot either like he wasn't there so you know i guess in, in a sense you know um your wardrobe choice has to match with um you know, the dark and the moody look of your, the style of your image, right? Yeah. Otherwise, and, yeah. And the, jeans, and the jeans wouldn't work in this case. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. Let's go to the next one. This one's mom and daughter oh, again. Nice. Yeah. So I've just made this into like a square, square crop. Um, I think I was late. <laughs> I, was, I was lazy. I was like, I can't be bothered editing the background anymore. I'm going <laughs> to... 
I'm going to crop it in and make it a square crop. Does anyone do that? Because <laughs> I do it. It's, it's, it's five, five times four. Yeah. It's perfect for Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what I mean. Instagram post. Um, I, lo- I really love this one. I love the mum's look in this. Like she looks really, she looks really calm and, and her kids look really calm in her arms as well. And um, and then the backdrop as well. Like I've really worked this backdrop as well. So I put some grain in the back of it as well, um, intentionally, so that I can have that you know texture when it comes back printed. Another one of mum. Oh, here's the one of mum by herself. All right, let me tell you, this, this is actually my sister, guys, this model. This is Nikki's twin Aries. Oh, really? Yeah. Does she look like Nikki? She does. Yeah. Yeah, she does. I love this. Yeah. Ever, so nice like, do you know, it's funny. Do you ever do, like, a photo shoot Aries and then, like, you go and tell them to do something and then they're doing it. And then you're like, oh, that actually makes a really good shot. So I mm. first started with with her sitting there like that and then I asked the mum, can you just brush her hair so it's nice and smooth? And then I saw the mum sitting down like that brushing the hair and I was like, oh, my God, that is actually a really nice shot. And so I said, just start brushing your shot. And that's sort of where I work my ideas from you see something and then you're like stop do that and then like we um oh there should be another one uh, yeah. what is it? I, I don't I, mean, I don't particularly have that in, in the in the studio shots but i sometimes in, in you know in the weddings, weddings you try yeah. to try to get a groom to hold the bride you know and in certain way and obviously they they don't do couple photos that much in their you know you know in their in their real life yeah and all of a sudden the bride just look back try to yeah. you know try to, to fix her dress a bit and mm. that bam you got a you got a moment sure. moments between I mean, moments if that makes sense yeah yeah they're my favorite yeah. they're my favorite but like yeah like yeah. like you said it's it's rare in a por- portrait shoot to do that yeah. because it's very staged but like yeah, I was like, oh, go brush my, go brush your hair so it's more straight. And that's when I was like, bam, that looks really cool. Like it looks like you're – like she's a in – the sto- in the story it looks like she's sort of like angry and she doesn't want to get her hair brushed, but her mum's like, brush your hair because <laughs> you need to go to bed. But, yeah, it's cool. That's her. It's a cute little fun happy shot. Yeah. <laughs> there's our. Yeah. These are the these are the those lights. Like I, <laughs> they're so cool. Don't you reckon they're so cool? I like the purple. Yeah. It's almost his mood. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. The color, it's like it's like yeah. I really yeah. don't want to do this. This is embarrassing. What what I'm what? doing here, especially with yeah. my sister, you know? Yeah. What are you making? And she, yeah. So funny. And the color is actually implying what what he's yeah. thinking and how he's feeling. It's like he's yeah. kind of feeling blue. Well, my so kids funny. said to me the other day, they're like, "I really um, we we love neon lights." Like, and they saw that stick, and they're like. That is like the coolest thing ever. Like, so even the kids think it's cool. So you pull it out during a portrait mm. shoot and then it sort of gets them excited as well. But yeah, yeah, that's sort of overall all the images that I'm sending off to print and looking at them like that, you know, they look really, I, I, I really like them. I'm pretty proud of this shoot and I'm um, happy with how it all turned out. Now, is there any questions or anything before I get back into Photoshop? No, I think we're good. That's Maybe cool. let's just um, spend a tiny bit, let's say, let's spend the five to ten minutes. Yeah. And we call that for the day. Yeah, awesome. So I'm just going to do another edit. Um, no. Okay, I'll remove that from the yeah. background. 
Let me drink some water. Should I share? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Have you guys noticed, did like Photoshop um, did like this update the other day and like everything's sort of different and I'm like, where is yeah. everything? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to cop in there um, just so I can get rid of all that. If you can see all that stuff in the background, I'd rather just crop, crop in and get rid of it than Photoshop it out. Um, yeah, I feel like she's a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to reduce the highlights there. Back up a bit. I know I said that before, but the, the color looks great. Yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, yeah. Do you know what? It's funny because like I've been buying heaps of material for backdrops over the last, say, three months. I probably spent more in backdrop buying heaps of backdrops than I would if I just bought one and stuck to it I'm just I'm just opening that up into Photoshop now so bear with me because I need to show yep. a different screen um, but it's funny because like in my head and this must might sound so simple to people people might go oh my god as if you didn't know this Ashley but I was buying dark backdrops like dark color backdrops and I was like why like is it so dark like I want it lighter and the other day I went and bought like a really light light blue and now I've got the um that, that the color that I want and that color that's showing to get up now is actually really like naturally it's really light um but yeah it's funny how these are all my secrets <laughs> my secret action. Um, all right, so first we're going to start with getting rid of some of these, okay, let me which just... I said before. We just... Are you in? I'm just checking. Oh, yeah. Has, has Aries dis disappeared again? Yeah, no, no, I just tried to, uh, yeah. I'm like, where is he? I feel like I'm, I'm just playing around with the settings, that's all. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. I was, I, I, that was being naughty. It's quiet, that's why. And I'm like, am I still there? Because I can't see, when I'm in Photoshop, I actually can't see um, the, like, us the live. Me. So now I'm just, like, changing the opacity there so that I can still clean out that stuff. Do you like, Aries, when you're editing things, do you like that, like dark shadow there or do you normally edit it? Would you normally edit it out? Which one? The like darker shadow? I'm doing, yeah. I usually just uh, command shift five, F, shift F5 to get rid of it. Yeah. Con so tell me that again, command shift. No, they change, they change oh. the hotkey. They, sorry, they change oh, the, yeah. the shortcut. What have I done? They change the shortcut, don't worry, because I'm still trying to trying to adapt to my Photoshop to, to 2020. Yeah. What have I what have they I changed. done here? How do I, I think go just back? come in there. Come in there, just get go back to where. Command shift A. No. No, command A, just just go oh, to history. Oh. Just yeah. No, it's gone to why is it gone to black and white like that? Because I I made your ship break and for <laughs> that I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We could go back. Yeah. Let's go back to revamp. Yeah. You shipwrecked. Right. You shipwrecked. How good is Roger Tan on the um <laughs> on the Facebook when we did that critique? Uh, sorry, on the not on the Facebook on the Photoshop. He's so yeah. quick <laughs> with everything. You know, you know what's funny? Like, after the crick, after the uh, critic we did, yeah, he sent in his laptop to be fixed. Oh, why? Oh, it's so funny. I know. I, I, I should say I'm so sorry about that. I find, I find it's really funny. So, 
for that, I, I, I feel sorry. Is it because he overdone it or something? He overworked it. He did so know. many. I don't know what he did. To, you know what ha- what happened uh, with his laptop, but maybe too much editing. <laughs> <laughs> too much editing. <laughs> Funny. I um I need to get my um laptop fixed because it's I'm currently on my iMac, but my laptop um yeah, screen be lagging. No, it's it's smashed the screen. I and I don't know how because I didn't drop it or anything. I just went to open it one day and the screen wasn't working. And then I took it to Apple and they're like, "That's going to be twelve hundred dollars to fix." I'm like, oh, really? Thanks a lot, Apple. <laughs> yeah, time to get an Ezo. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, now I'm just smoothing out there all this stuff. Are you using Chrome? Because uh, uh, I, I might be far. I couldn't see it. Are you using Chrome Stem oh, tool? Yeah, and I'm using okay. the, the spot healing tool. I call it the Band-Aid because it looks like a Band-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the Band-Aid tool. Um, so, yeah, as, if I can use the Band-Aid or the spot healing tool as much, tool as, much as I can because it's easier, um, but then otherwise I'll do some cloning. So fix that bit of light there. So, you know, I obviously would spend more time fixing the background there, but you guys get the gist of that. What I would do also is, um, <clears throat> sorry, I usually like lighting up where oh, I feel it's not lit up enough. So like on his face with the dodge tool. So you use dodge, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like little bits where I feel like I need to um fix that up. If I need to, you know, do some shadows as well, I will. Just to make the light a little bit more even. Yep. <clears throat> I hope I'm going slow for everyone. I am far. I do go fast with my editing. No, I think it's all the details add together makes all the yeah. world of a difference. So yeah, you do what you necessary needs to do. Darken the back background a little bit, just so like they pop out a bit more. Now I don't know if anyone knows about this, but for my color changes, I use some um, alien skin. Exposure six. Do you know um, about this? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't think it works with tw to the new Photoshop. Did you? Try? Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, look it at stops that. Stops working. Like, I love um, that just by looking at it. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can because I'm not in. Oh, you're not. Oh no, I need to share Alien Skin with you now. Hold on one yeah. second. Okay. <laughs> this is a really cool. Um, Plugin, I love it. Um, I couldn't get my editing skin work. I probably need to. So you can change like your colors. Like I really like what what I've got just there. But like I also love this one. I get rid of the border. Yeah. You can do everything in here. You can sharpen. You can use your grain. You can play around with colors. So like reduce the yellows, add in some contrast. But you can do, there's heaps of different like things that you can use. And there's black and white ones. I like Alien Skin. I've been using it for some time now. I really um, enjoy some of the colors that they have. So I'm going to go back to what I liked before, which I think is I'm just going to get rid of that red a little bit, and a bit of yellow.
So that's, I don't know, took all of 10 or five or 10 minutes. Yep. And it's just, oh, hold on one second now. I've got to go back to um, Photoshop and to show you the final result. Sorry. Yeah, maybe let's just and then wrap show the it final up. result. Yep. Yeah, and let's wrap it up. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Voila. Yep. <laughs> It's really hard. It looks so different looking from this screen to my yep. Photoshop. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because it's um, with live streaming, with a bandwidth, it lost yeah. lots of qualities. And even with videos, um, when I, you know, pass my image to the video, when the output from either Final Cut or Premiere, the color, it starts to have a color casting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's unavoidable. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I hope you guys liked what we shared. Yeah. Oh, that was great, right? Thank you, Ash. Uh, you've been showing us a photo shoots all the way from preparing from the wardrobe all the way to the sh actually shooting, right? The lighting, mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. position of lighting and all, all the time, how you communicate uh, with music and hopefully and how, how the little girl's playing with his his brother or her brother that was fun and how you did even it's brief but it showed people the idea of the workflow um in yeah. the acr as well as the photoshop right what you do to clone you know clone stamp tool things the distractions out dodge and burning and you know color tuning with um uh with alien which is mm. something new to me like you say, yeah. you know something new every single day. So exactly. yeah, that was great and that was beautiful. And thank you for showing us the whole complete workflow. I yeah. I, I personally learned a lot. I'm sure people would um would, would help lots of people with their um, you know lighting, and as well as how you cook, um, how you cook your lighting in, in your post production. Right? Yeah. It's amazing how with the correct lighting, how how simple is your post production as well, right? Right. Guys, so if there is no further question, hi Andrew, good morning from. I, I assume you're still in England, right? So um, I would ask if there's no further question, let's just wrap it up for the day, right? Thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning Thank you, everyone. In. Thank you, Goda. Um, yeah, awesome. we will, we will, we will see you guys until next Wednesday. All right. See you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.